Hey everyone, Jean-Pierre from teamtennis.fr, a former tennis coach in France. And in this video, I'm going to make uh, my review of the new Barbara Pure Strike 100 third generation. I let you watch a part of the training session I did with this racket, and then I talk to you about it. Hey, diagonal revers, mon petit test, 10 shop à la suite là, pour voir si ça donne un shop. Bon, je valide pour le shop en revers. Là, on va voir si je valide pour le plomb en revers. On recommence, car c'est mal parti. niveau contrôle ça part pas trop n'importe où ah oui bien joué petite série en comparant avec la head gravity mp J'ai l'impression que j'ai un tout petit peu moins de puissance avec la gravité. Et vite fait, je compare avec la clash. Oh. Donc c'est un peu plus puissant. Nous allons faire des points. Okay guys, we are back to talk about this racket new Bavalat Pure Strike 100 third generation that Tennis Warehouse Europe sent me for a demo. By the way, for your tennis equipment, I advise you to go at Tennis Warehouse Europe. I am partner 
with this website and it's very nice from you if you use my affiliate link uh, to buy a tennis warehouse europe uh, in this way you will help me continue the videos i'm doing on youtube you can find my affiliate link uh, if you click on the i here uh, my link is, is also in the description under the video and the link also appears directly on the video Okay, let's go. I start with the specification of the racket and at the same time I'm going to compare them with the previous version. Uh, first of all, the string on this racket is a Technifib uh, ice code 1.25 mm, tension 24 kg. Let's go with the weight of the racket, 300 grams unstrung, the same as the previous version. Uh, the final weight, of course, will depend on the string you are going to use. Balance of the racket, 32 cm unstrung, the same as the previous version. Uh, rather neutral balance, not too much weight at the tip of the racket, just enough to find some easy power. But there is a good maneuverability with this racket. Uh, head size of the racket, like the previous uh, version, 645 squared centimeters, 100 squared inch. String pattern 16 by 19, like the previous version. The beam width of the racket, 21 mm, 23 mm at the height of the sweet spot, and 21 mm, a little thinner than the previous version. It was 21.3, 23.3, 21.3. It's going to reduce a bit the power of the racket. Now concerning the stiffness of the racket, on the previous version it was 70. On this version it, it's 68, two points less. Uh, so the racket is going to be more flexible. Same thing, it's going to reduce a bit the power of the racket. There is also another difference between this racket and the previous version. Uh, it concerns the material which is used in this racket, especially here. And here it is a CTU Pure Field technology. Uh, it's a material which is going to reduce the vibrations, it's going to bring comfort, and at the same time it's also going to reduce a bit the power of the racket. Okay, now I'm going to share with you my feelings on the court when I played with the racket. For me, this racket is a bit less powerful than the previous version uh, because of the beam width, which is smaller, because of the stiffness, which is lower, and because of the material that is used in the racket that lowers the vibrations, but it reduces also the power of the racket. I'm going to make some comparisons in terms of power with other rackets that maybe you already know. This racket is less powerful than the Babolat Pure Aero, Pure Drive, uh, Wilson Burn, Wilson Clash, a bit less powerful than the Clash. Uh, this racket is less powerful than the Head Extreme, Instinct and MXJ. This racket is more uh, powerful than the Head Prestige. It's close to the Speed MP and the Radical MP. It's going to be between the Prestige and the Speed and Radical. And it's more powerful than the Wilson Blade and Wilson Pro Staff. So this, so this racket is going to give you an intermediate level of power. This is a control-oriented racket. It means that it's not going to give you a lot of easy power. It's interesting for players looking for control, but at the same time, it's not too hard to play with this racket. You're going to have a decent amount of power. Good mix between control and power with this racket. For my slice backhand, I had a very good feeling. I had precision, I had control, good feelings on my slice backhand. So now concerning the access to top spin, easy access to top spin with this racket on my backhand, on my forehand, on, on the baseline, no problem. A bit more difficult for my top spin serve, but it's a weak shot in my game. So overall, it was an easy, an easy access for the top spin. Not a huge access to top spin. If you're looking for a, a huge access to top spin, give a look at the Babolat Pure Aero or maybe, or maybe the Head Extreme. Concerning the maneuverability of the racket, I had a good feeling. There is not too much weight at the tip of the racket. So I had a good maneuverability. I could find some speed for my swings, even in difficult situations where I had to shorten my swings. I still, I still could find some speed uh, for my swings. I could speed up the tip of the racket with my wrist to put some stop spin. So good maneuverability on the baseline and at the net. Now a word concerning the comfort of the racket. It's interesting for you to know that even if you miss hit the ball, if you off-center shots, uh, you're not going to lose too much power, you're not going to receive a big shock in your arm, you still have some comfort, so that's very interesting. There is a big difference for me between this version and the previous version in terms of uh, shock absorptions. For me, this racket absorbs much more the vibrations than the previous version. Big shock absorptions and very comfortable racket. And this is a difference with the previous versions. For the players who were really used to the feelings they had with the previous versions, I recommend to demo to test this racket to see if their feelings are okay with this new version.
Okay guys, to summarize now for this racket, this is a control oriented racket with an intermediate level of power. You're gonna get some control with this racket, but at the same time you still have a decent amount of power. A racket which is a bit less powerful than the previous version. Good maneuverability, good access to top spin even if it's not huge. Very comfortable racket, much more for me than the previous version. So in my opinion, this racket is going to be interesting for intermediate or advanced players, not for beginners. Intermediate, advanced players with an aggressive game style, you put some power in your shots and so you need some control, but at the same time, you need a decent amount of power, intermediate level of power. Aggressive game style, you use some top spin, baseline hitters who go to the net, uh, who use slice, I had a very good feeling on my slice. You can use flat shots if you don't put too much power because there is uh, good control with this racket and also players looking for a very comfortable racket. I hope this video is going to help you if you're looking for a new tennis racket. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to ask me any question about this racket. Have fun in your tennis and see you soon in another video. Bye!